Because I just got to think, it's, I see so many guys, you hear people, fans talking about so many guys that are just sitting there and they're grumpy or they're not interacting with people. If I'm going to go and do this shit, then I do it. And one thing that happened, and I hope he won't mind, I'm not going to mention his full name, but I hope he won't mind me talking about him. But one thing that happened over the convention, before we get to the hard part of it, um, made me feel good. This guy came up and he was in a wheelchair and come to find out and he, he tweeted and everything had more information, but I thought he might be a veteran at first, but he turns out he had an illness that led to septic shock. And, and I'm not sure what all that entails uh, medically, but the point is he had had to have both legs amputated below the knee and had artificial legs and had had both hands amputated like down on the forearms. And so he, a friend of his was there to, to you know, cause this place is massive. He had to have a chair. There was no other choice, you know, but the, the point is this guy comes up, his name's Patrick and he was thrilled to meet me. This guy has not only gone through all that health wise, but has that day made the decision to get up and leave his house and go with his friend and travel to downtown Chicago and park wherever the fuck they parked and somehow get to uh, into this place and this huge show floor and fighting the crowds and all that stuff. And by the time he gets there to my booth, it, not only is he thrilled to meet me, but I, you know, I, I, I think I can't remember. I gave him a DVD or some burger towels, whatever. I gave him eight by 10, but I wanted to take a picture with him. And it, it, I'm not saying I gave him all this shit, and make myself a big baby face, but it would be a heel. If I like, so I'd be a heel if I sold him this shit. Right. So now I'm even cause he deserved it. <laughs> yeah. You know, $40 and, uh, where the stuff's not going to affect my standard of living, but he deserved it. The point is when I went around to take the photo op, I started to kneel down. He said, no, let me stand up for this. And son of a gun, if he didn't, and he kind of pushed himself up. And once he got up, you know, we had to steady him a little bit as he got out of the chair, locked the chair, and he's standing on his artificial legs for the photo op because he wanted to make sure it was right. He went through that kind of effort. And so, I mean, that's an extreme example. But if I can't be goddamn cheerful, <laughs> goddamn cheerful, where do, you, where do you hear that today? If I can't be goddamn cheerful and nice to these people that have met, and I'm – in the business, I'm being paid to be there, et cetera. I'm making money on my stuff. Uh, but if I can't be cheerful and, you know, interact with people and make sure everybody gets what they want and it's right and they feel like I didn't just, you know, not give a shit or whatever, then I shouldn't be there and I won't be at, at, at any point that happens. It just, you know, so it's really, it was cool. And by the way, I saw something, I retweeted it after you tweeted it, where I guess after he left the convention, he went out bowling and he got a strike. Yes, that was the that was the greatest part. Yeah, I thought that was he, cool. He, yeah, he tweeted a, a a video of a bowling trip that he had taken where he fucking bowled a strike. And I mean, you know, so that's and once again, I, I'm complaining to, which I'm fixing to about how hard this thing was. But there's people digging ditches and there's people like that. So we got to put things in perspective. But let me tell you, if 